Hi and welcome to my new video. This time I'm doing the E50 OSM. The E50 OSM is the tier 10 medium German tank. Um, this is by the way um, after the apron formats if you're watching this. Um, this is when the gun depression of the E50 got nerfed. I've had lots of people complaining that the gun depression was horrible although I checked it out in battle and it was not that bad as I su su suspected though. Um, it's still a good tank for me. It's it's the fastest tank of the Mala thing, except the Bacha of course, because the Bacha is just very fast. <laughs> but uh, it has an auto loader and this one doesn't. Um, it goes 60 km per hour and you can hit that 60 km, km per hour easily on flat ground row. On flat, on flat ground. Um, on soft terrain it's, it's pretty difficult, but it's still easy to hit your 50 instead of 60 but like a city like Hummelsdorf or so, something like that you can easily hit your 60 kilometers an hour um, 50 you mostly hit on the land roads um, for instance uh, Melanovka, Provka, something like that plus it easily climbs mountains because of its good engine and the engine is 1200 horsepower that's a big engine 12% uh, weight of fire that's almost nothing um, but what it does have is, is a good gun and it has the highest damage of all the medium tanks um, except the new bridges of course, the new bridges have more damage but in the past it used to have the highest da damage, 390 per shot and it can, that's the average, it gets, sometimes it, it can be 500, sometimes it can be 200 uh, penetration is very good also, 270 millimeters, 350 with gold and that's a pretty decent amount of uh, penetration. It has a it has a good rate of fire. It doesn't have an excellent rate of fire. It has a one ten seconds. I checked with Chimbos mod, uh, and it has a very very accurate gun. This this tank is made for sniping. You can use this tank as a sniper. So like for instance, you're gonna set up onto a mountain and you try to snipe but also as a rusher because it's so fast and the maneuverability though is not that bad as the E50 in a Panther 2 um, the turret is not the turret is your big weak spot on the E50 why? because it doesn't have good tur turret armor it has 185 poorly sloped turret armor it has a good good travel speed for a medium tank of course you have to know that it's a German medium tank a German medium tank is pretty good uh, for a German medium tank and you see here that it's poorly sloped so that's like 200-210 mm effective armor um, weak spot is here the weak spot here that's pretty stupid of all the E series um, I'm sorry for the little break but like I said that the E50 has uh, all the E series have a big weak spot like here and here all the German tanks are the same and they have also these ears no idea what to do but they also are weak spots plus the E50 is a very big tank if you compare it with the T62A the T62A is a lot smaller plus it ha doesn't have a big weak spot plus it's smaller and I have to check out the maneuverability on the T62 is very good I have to say but this 56 and the maneuverability on the E50M is 44 and for I know it, it isn't that great as a T62 but you can for the first time uh, pass the carousel routine, uh, routine like they say like circling around your your enemies um, try to get a couple of shots while they're turning your turret and they can't get you you can finally um, pass this technique because therefore you, you don't you just can't do it um, signal range is a decent tier 10 radius, nothing special. Plus it has the best uh, hit points of the mall, 2050, that's a good decent amount of hit points. It is a very heavy tank, it's 62 tons, it can be 67 max. Um, it is it is uh, lighter than the E50 but still this tank is really good for ramming. Like the only tanks you have to ignore are the E100, the T series of the Americans and the Mars. For the rest you can ram everything nearly and do more damage to them than they to you. Uh, plus 20% of course it's a medium tank so I say like go for the vertical stabilizer. 
maybe a toolbox you, so you can uh, repair your tracks faster but I don't really recommend it for the first time I don't recommend a chance gun laying device why because it already aims very fast it's typical German that's why I like Germans because they have so good penetration and the aim so fast and they're very accurate uh, they don't deal that much damage like the Russians but still I like the German most of them all for from all the from all the countries Minus 10% to load them, of course, all the Germans reload pretty fast, and um, uh, reload pretty slow, so minus 10% to load time can, uh, I think it's around 12 to 11 rounds per minute without this, and I mean 12, 12 to 11 se seconds reload without this, and it is around 9 to 10 seconds with this, so that, that to, um, um, that, that two seconds could save your life. Um, camouflage net, of course, camouflage net is pretty cheap and you can use this as a sniper. You can also mount it from other vehicles. Uh, what I recommend for you to use on this setup is not a lot of HE shells. The HE cell, uh, shells are actually uh, more expensive, but I don't recommend actually HE shell. Let's stack it up with AP, but I don't have the money to uh, afford this, so I'm going to keep the HE, but... Uh, wait one second here we go um, and then one gold shell in, uh, in case of emergencies plus the gold shells are not that expensive it's only six gold um, for tier 10 that's very cheap so what you want to use on your um, first on your commander is um, of course, six cents are always research six cents first. It's always handy on all tanks. Repairs, because you're gonna use it as a medium tank. Maybe camouflage net, but uh, camouflage, but I don't really recommend it for you because mostly you wish this tank. You don't use it as a sniper. Although I recommend for you to use it as a sniper, but mostly you're using this as a worship because it's a good medium tank. It has de very good speed and it has decent maneuverability. Um, Maybe recon can can become in handy because because you're so fast you can do some spotting work. Um, eagle eye not, um, but that's it. Uh, what do you want to use here? Um, this is the the gunner and you want to use here a lot. Like snapshot is the first thing you want to research on the tank. Um, armor because the gun is so accurate. With armor you can still hold this gun accurate. Um, Design target not really dead eye maybe because it's a medium tank and it reloads pretty fast. But uh, I only, if I were you, I only went like with snapshot and armor. That's it. Um, what you want to use here is the driver. You nearly need everything. Uh, like clutch breaking is the first thing you want to research. This is always the first thing I want to research because I drive this tank a lot. You, you're not standing still. Uh, and you need that clutch breaking so you can turn faster around your enemies and increase your ro rotation speed. Uh, like for instance smooth wide and it's still the case like I said for my E50 video that you can't shoot enemies on, uh, you can't shoot enemies if you are on the move. It's just horrible. Um, if you're on the move you can't hit anything. And I've had this so many times with the Germans. So that's why I say try to um, research move wide so you can actually hit them on the on the move. Controlled impact because this thing is so heavy, and that's why I say go for t controlled impact so you can do more damage to them. And off road driving, of course. Off road driving, you need in sandy terrains. Um, what you need here is extended signal range for the sniping. Um, situal uh, situ situational awareness you need um, for a higher view so you can spot them easier and that's it on this tank maybe call for vengeance but nah um, Azure rush so you reload even more 10% faster so that's a wound if you have the other module that's a wound every 8 seconds a shot and that's pretty high especially for a, for a German medium say storage I I think I've played around 20 to 30 battles in this tank. I've never had that my that my uh, ammo bag is hit it. I've I've had uh, I've had um, many more times with the Germans. 
And in Tentution you don't need that because mostly you're shooting AP shells in this tank. Unless you're shooting Golden Clan Wars, but I'm not going to research an, an, another skill just for to use in Clan Wars. Um, but that's it in the garage and I will see you in the gameplay. Alright, so welcome back to the gameplay. Uh, this is the E50 in Bella and as you see, um, yes of course I'm top tier because I'm tier 10, but I'm placed with a lot of other tier 10s, um, but that's typical the case, like, if you don't play a heavy tank, you mostly with the other tier 10s. Uh, now what you see here is a, is a speed test, like, we're hitting 30 here, and we're riding over some rough terrain, and this is the city race. Yeah, the gun depression is not that bad, like everyone said, uh, like I said from the garage, but the gun depression got nerfed 5 degrees, so it so it would be a little bit more realistic because therefore um, it used to sit like if you were going down with your gun sometimes you it went into your hole like a bit, a bit of glitching out but uh, while gaming fixed it and I have the feeling that they increased the turning speed of this thing because the turning speed is, is pretty good or it is because I'm clutch breaking 100% research but I don't know I have the feeling that they that they buffed this tank with the turning speed. I like most people say that the, the most people say that the E50 OSM is is not a good tank. They say it's the worst tier 10 uh, medium of them all. But I like nearly every tank. Like I actually like the e um, the Jagd Panzer 4 and the Jagd Panzer 4 was a very bad tank for everybody. But I like the tank. The only tank that I really hated to play was the B1. The B1 was just terrible. Now it's got buffed. It has a better maneuverability and speed, but still, uh, the penetration is the same. And if you're not top tier on your B1, it's just you can't penetrate em anything. Um, I got destroyed in this battle, but I got 1250 XP of it because of the new up update. For some reason, I can't, I can't play, I can't play my old replays again. So I had to do. So I had to do a match or two today, and I've got this one of my first ma match. I got um, 1250 XP. That's not bad. And you see here that the e E100 turn is hill, and I'm sorry for not repairing the tracks because I don't, I don't waste my um, my repair kit on the tracks. I nearly do it unless I'm really. I know that I'm going to die unless I use my repair kit but I've seen so many people using it on such such stupid things like for instance like they don't want to wait 10 seconds and they use a repair kit and but then they hit your ammo rack or they hit your gunner or or they hit your cannon and you have to use it and you already have to use it on a stupid thing like the track that's why I don't use the tracks enough uh, talking shit but and you saw that the E100 that hill got turned towards me in a very good angle, but with a high penetration of this gun, I could have, I penetrated him in. Thanks to that, but I'm going to speed up this part because I'm nearly dead and I don't wa want to take any damage. So this was just me camping. And I missed and I've got hit it, but he bounced. And that that I have to say also that um, the E50 got pretty good armor for tier 9 like 120 millimeter sloped armor but on tier 10 that armor doesn't really do a lot anymore Enemy armor is damaged. and I'm trying to hide be put, um, behind the E100 because it's like E100 is for me a fortress and wheel and that's the thing what I also like the E100 <laughs> most people hate it but it's my favorite tier 10 to play I have a really high average XP and I have most tank on this tank on that tank. And I'm going to rush the tire too and then I saw then I saw that there was an E4 creeping towards me and that E4 killed me, you will see it Looks later. Like that one went right through. I get a couple of shots on the tire too to help my team. And and also the ammunition cost is very expensive so don't waste your shells on stupid things. Like the ammunition cost of an AP shell is twelve hundred fifty. And the ammunition cost of an HE shell is two, uh, 2400, so that's a big difference. 
Uh, I mean it's not not a big difference. I mean you can even shoot gold. And here I have a stupid mistake of me shooting over the T-34. That was very stupid. I'm sorry for that. And also that you saw that I lost my mods. I have to re-download them again. To the new update. And the E-100 finished the T-34 off. But the E-100 better went for the E-4. Because that E-4 has killed me right now. One shot and he got me. Bam. Okay. So this is the end of the replay. Normally you have to see now in the left corner. Uh, a screenshot for my garage, how much XP, uh, XP I g gained from that battle. So that's it. And I will see you in the battle again, uh, in the garage again for some extra talking about this tank. So that was the gameplay. Uh, you, you saw that I got 1200 XP. Um, like something between that, but you don't really know it anymore. But uh, that's it. And this tank, to be honest, it has. Not that good armor anymore um, because of its poor turret armor and its poor hill armor. It has very good speed um, for a German tank. It has decent maneuverability. It has a good penetration gun. It has an accurate gun and it has a high damage gun. Only the reload is not that amazing, but hey, it's for me it's a very good tank. Plus, it has very big, so Artie can hit you easily. Um, but that's it, and Democration rules, and you can choose a tank for Michael Walsh. What do you want me to see with you next? Place it in the comments below, and also try to check out my channel so you, so you know what tanks I've already reviewed. Uh, next week I'm going to do, or Wednesday I'm going to do the M41. The M41 is tier 5 American artillery. Um, I'm nearly on to my M12. I think it's around 2 weeks and I have the M12 for my Walsh, but... Um, it has a high, it has a higher damage, but still doesn't have a good damage amount for me. So that's it, and I'll see you next week. And maybe there's a new outro music, but I'm not sure. Normally I have to get my uh, documents today, but if it isn't, I'll uh, I'll post new music Wednesday. So that's it, and see ya. Bye.